Welcome back to the pig room, you guys, or welcome to the pig room if you are new here. Today, we are going to be doing a massive haul. I think this is actually my first ever haul on this channel, which is really exciting, but I ordered so, oh my God, I forgot one thing. I forgot the biggest package. Let me go get it real quick. All right, officially, now it is the biggest haul ever. I am actually crammed right now in between all these packages. I almost forgot about my big Joanne's order, but here is everything that I have ordered for the piggies. I was just in the mood one night of just spoiling them. Also, given that Vision is getting neutered soon, I thought that it would be really nice to have some new items when he's bonded with the girls. I think we should just jump right into this because we have a lot to get through. 99% of these things are stuff that I bought for myself with my own money. And then I have one that was actually sent for me from a company, but I figured why not just show it off in this video. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so I think the first thing I wanna start off with is some things that I got from PetSmart. It's not just some things, it's a lot of things. I ended up actually going there about a couple weeks ago, and this was actually before that article came out about all the frozen animals that ended up in Petco and PetSmart's freezers. So no longer do I support getting any things from those businesses and big corporations, and I just get all my stuff from Chewy now, hence the big box. But this was actually purchased a couple weeks ago, which is why it is from PetSmart. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys everything that I got. I got multiples of a lot of items. I think I only got two of these, I believe. Also, Winston's going crazy. So you know what? Let's actually let him out first before we jump into this because I think he wants some free roam time. What, you wanna come out, bud? All right, so if you see Winston in the background, there he is. He's just gonna be hanging out with us while we open up these packages. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So the first item that I picked up from PetSmart is the Oxbow Enriched Life Celebration Cupcake. Now, I do know a lot of people in this community and also a couple of my friends, their pigs find zero interest in these, but for some reason, my pigs absolutely demolish this. Like they'll actually eat this entire material and also the top in the amount of like two days. So I figured why not just get them more of these? They are about, I'm not really sure, I think $3.99? If I'm correct, I'm gonna pop up all the prices on the screen so you guys know and then totaling up at the end because I honestly have no idea how much I actually spent on all this. So I'm a little scared to see that number. But yeah, I just got two of these because I know Caroline and Toby, this is their most favorite item. So I figured why not get them two of these for them. And then we also got the Oxbow Enriched Life Timbells. These are another hit in the pig room. Basically all my pigs like these. There's something about this condensed hay material that my pigs really, really enjoy. It's really, really tasty. I assume um, it looks pretty good to me, even though I'm a human, but I do know that my pigs love these. These are a little bit more pricey retailing at $4.99. So it's definitely not the most cost effective, especially when they demolish them in a day. But I almost treat this as kind of a treat for them to enjoy, you know, every two weeks or so because they go crazy over this when they find it in their cage. So I'm happy to give this to them. Obviously, I didn't purchase enough for 16 pigs, so I'm gonna have to pick and choose uh, who gets these. But of course, I have plenty of other toys to actually give to the other pigs. Alrighty, moving on to our next item. We have these Timothy Hay Hoops by the brand Full Cheeks. Uh, which is previously known as All Living Things, if you guys remember, um, but they just did a huge rebrand. These are, again, my pig's favorite item. What I actually do with these, though, is because they are three rings attached to one, um, I actually end up cutting the middle one, so that way I actually end up with three toys, giving me more toys to actually disperse to all my cages. So that's just a little hack for you guys. So in case you wanna know, if you buy this, you can actually get three toys out of one. And then we've got some more stuff by Full Cheeks. Uh, these are the Willow Twists. Now, these actually went out of stock for months and months and months while All Living Things was actually doing their rebrand. And I was so disappointed because this is actually, I, I can confidently say this is probably my pig's ultimate favorite toy. And they went out of stock for a month and I was like so disappointed thinking they would never come back. And I didn't know at the time that they were doing a rebrand, but luckily they came back and they are just as good. So yeah, these are just all natural willow twists and it says helps encouraging chewing behaviors and provides mental stimulation, which I definitely can attest to. And it's also really great for their teeth as well, grinding those teeth down and making sure they're always filed and nice and neat. But yeah, I got four of these. So my pigs have plenty of enough toys. I actually have more that I bought a while ago. So I definitely have a good amount to last them for quite some time. And then for our last two things, I actually think I ordered these on Chewy actually a while ago, but I haven't opened them up. But regardless of the fact, they do sell these at PetSmart and Petco, but I do suggest getting them at Chewy because they're always running sales on these. But I just picked up the Oxbow Natural Science tablets in the urinary support and then also the joint support. I typically only give the joint support to my older pigs, which is Caroline and Lennon. Caroline is about six years old and then Lennon is, I don't know for sure, 
but I want to say about four or five. She has an older girl face, so I want to assume that she is. She's a rescue. I don't know her backstory, but just looking at her, I can tell that she is an older pig. Regardless, so if you do end up feeding these to younger pigs, it's not going to hurt them whatsoever. The main ingredient that they have in these to actually help out older pigs with their joints is glucosamine, which is super, super good for their joints. And it's actually listed as the first ingredient. So 90 milligrams in each tablet. So super good if you have older senior pigs. And then with these, these are great at preventing bladder stones. Now they can't prevent it, you know, all the time. There is cases where this won't really do anything. It's really just based on pig to pig and their systems and what they're sensitive to. But I do know if you have a pig that was diagnosed with a bladder stone, these cannot be given to them as a treatment or to get rid of it. These are just for preventative measure and the pigs really seem to enjoy these and the flavor. So yeah, just picked up two of these and that is everything that I got from PetSmart slash Chewy. Can't really remember, but let's go ahead and move in to our next couple packages. For the most part, I ended up spending a lot of my money on Amazon. And of course for you guys, I will link everything down below. I forgot my knife. Let's see if I can do this with my bare hands. But if you guys are actually interested in getting any of this for your own pigs, I will of course leave it down below for you guys. I actually have no idea what it is. I ordered so much. So I'm going to be just as surprised as you guys. Now I remember, I actually purchased these a while ago. I was actually told by Sarah about these through one of her videos and I figured why not give it a try with my piggies and they love them so much. So I actually wanted to reorder them and I saw that they sold them in a four pack. So I got a four pack of these, very similar to the Oxbow Timbells with the material, but it's just this condensed Timothy hay in little heart shapes with some willow chews separating all the cubes. My pigs really do like these and it just has a hook right on the end so you can actually attach it to your cages. This is a really great boredom breaker. If you ever find that your pigs are kind of looking bored, they're not up to much, throw this into one of their cages and they're going to have such a blast and it's also a really tasty treat. Also, if you really wanted to, you could actually cut the wire and just end up giving this to the pigs. That way, if you have a lot of pigs, you can get more use out of one, which is probably what I'll end up doing. And then moving on to our next package, which I believe I know what this is. I think it's actually two things. Um, this is from Amazon as well. These are the guinea dad houses. When it comes to guinea pigs, sometimes you can buy like literally the most expensive wooden house that's like luxurious. And sometimes they just want a cheap cardboard box. Now these are a little bit more fancy because they are made by guinea dad and they have a really cute guinea pig design on the front of it. And they also have like little windows and doors and stuff like that. But there's something about these cardboard boxes, which my pigs absolutely love so much. They're a really great size for chunky pigs and also small pigs. My pigs love to sleep in these and also chew them to death. I'll actually end up chewing the bottom half and then that way it doesn't actually stand up straight anymore. So I'll end up just like throwing it out once it gets a little bit demolished and also super dirty because my pigs love to spend their time not only inside of it, but also on top. They love to jump on top of it, especially my boys. And I believe these were about $14 for a three pack, which is really nice. And then I believe I got something similar to those chews that I just showed off, but these are by the brand Changery. Changery, I guess you want to say it like that. And these are just small animal chew toys. I mean, it says natural grinding sticks. So these are both for guinea pigs and rabbits. They're little like logs, I guess you want to say, little sticks. So these are, I believe the apple wood chews. Sarah actually gifted me a box of these and my pigs went nuts over it. So I decided I wanted to give them some more. Damn, this one's a big one. I haven't seen them this big. And then also in this package, we have I believe they're just normal Timothy, like little sticks, rods, I guess you wanna say. So I really think my pigs are gonna like these. A nice shape as well, because it's gonna be easy for them to chew. My pigs are literally going to have so many toys and not be bored for quite some time. So I'm really happy about that. This will move on to this little chewy package. They ended up actually sending it to me um, in two separate shipments. Oh, I actually didn't remember me ordering these, but never hurts to have more. So again, these are just two of the Oxbow Enriched Life Celebration Cupcakes. Again, my pigs go crazy over these. Totally forgot about that. And that is it in that package. I think we should move on to this one right here. This one I actually do know. It is probably one of the most important things in life to have an air purifier when it comes to having pigs, whether it be two, four, six, or even 16 like I have. Air purifiers are your lifesaver. They suck up so much of the smell from pigs that are created from them, all of their dirtiness and just smelliness. You know, they're, they're pretty clean animals by nature, but they do poop a lot. So having a air that's really, really purified and super clean definitely helps out in cutting down the smell. I'm actually going to be having um, a dedicated video with Lavoie. They're actually going to be sponsoring one of my videos and I'm gonna be giving you guys basically the rundown of the importance of an air purifier, how to use it, you know, what to do with it and also why it helps out and the benefits of it. So look out for that. I'm really excited to actually film that video. It's gonna be super fun, but I actually have been a 
supporter of Lavoie for basically the beginning since I got my pigs, my first ever two pigs. And the replacements, the filters are quite expensive, but I actually ended up finding kind of like a dupe and it actually came in a three pack for basically the price of one. So I was really excited to see that. Mine is definitely needing a replacement filter because it's getting super dirty. So this will actually go inside of your air purifier and this is what actually sucks up and filters the air. So it's got multiple layers of HEPA and you know, all those kinds of things. I'll pop it up on the screen as well. This comes in a pack of three. So this is going to last me quite a while. You do have to change out your filters, I believe every six months. So this will last me like a year and a half, two years, which is amazing. So super excited to now put in a fresh one into my Lavoie. It really is just an overall great investment because the air can be quite dirty, especially during the summertime with all the allergies and pollen and stuff and dust. So I definitely recommend, you know, investing in one of those. And then I believe we can maybe just, no, we'll probably save this for last. Just gonna move this off to the side so I can bring up this smaller package. I honestly, again, have no idea what's inside of it, but it is from Amazon. Let's see if I can do this with my fingers again. I think I can. I honestly don't remember what this is, guys. I got like so much stuff. Oh, now I remember. So what I got are three of these fiddlestick tunnels by the brand ooh, by the brand Night Angel, which is actually a really popular small animal brand, but they actually make fiddlestick tunnels. I actually have one, two, three of them. So I have three, so now I have six in total. But again, I wanted to get some new items for when I bond a vision with the girls. That way everything's a lot more fresher. Uh, this is the smaller size. So they actually have a larger one, which is really, really big but this is going to be the perfect size for my pigs and they seem to really enjoy these. Winston, wherever he is, I think he's over there somewhere. He loves to actually sleep on top of these. So they're actually just bendable. So you guys can actually bend them to any shape that you want. But typically I'll just do this shape right here and then you can actually flatten out the top so they can actually sleep on there very comfortably. And these are made out of all natural wood. Look at that shape right there. So your pigs are actually able to chew on these if they want to. Hi, do you want to come say hi to everyone, bud? I think he does. Oh. Nope, he ran away. <laughs> I love how all my collection is just like building off to the side. And then we have got two of the Palchi detachable wooden huts. So many of you guys actually ask me where I get these from or what they are, and I can finally show them off to you guys. I have so many of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. I have eight of these houses. Now I have 10 of them. Um, again, these are going to be saved for Vision and the girls because I have one that's like completely demolishing the girls. They chewed up that thing so badly. I and mean, I believe this is actually going to be their older version. They have a newer improved version that I actually do have, but I do like the look of the older one just because it is a lot more square and a lot more bigger. So let me just go ahead and open this up for you guys so you can actually see what it looks like. So this is the older one. So it just has basically four walls that are just untreated wood and you'll just attach them together with these tongue and grooves. And then it has a little kind of like ceiling piece which will go on top, but really happy about these because my girls have been needing one for quite some time now. You know, also I'll notice that when they're actually sleeping in these a lot, they'll pee and this kind of gets stained. So it's not the prettiest. Gonna look into seeing if I can actually wash this material for the ones that I actually have right now. They are a little bit more expensive. I think they're about like $22. I think that's what I paid for. Um, but again, when it comes to having something that's really good quality, it's gonna last you and the piggies are obviously gonna enjoy it. Also, if it acts as a chew toy and a hidey house, even better. Um, let's go ahead and get into the Chewy package. This thing is really, really heavy, mainly because I have a 25 pound bag of pellets in here. Alrighty, so I know that I have a lot of goodies in here because I had a fun time on Chewy.com ordering so much stuff for my little babies, but honestly, I like spoiling them more than I like spoiling myself, so all good. Got some crinkle paper. I'm sure they probably would have a lot of fun with that as well. The first thing that I got, which I actually picked up from Chewy before, which I actually have in Winston's cage, is the KT Play and Chew Cubby Nest. I think that's what you want to say it is. So it's just this Timothy Hay Hut, um, not a tunnel, but a just a one-sided hide and then it has this little dangly ball which actually just acts as a little chew toy for them with these i don't find that my pigs really like to hide in them just because they're a little tight and kind of like an awkward shape but i still will put a pee pad in case anyone decides to sleep in them but they do love to chew on this they love this kind of material this timothy hay um, they love their tunnels so why not get them something that's a new design and for them to have fun with and also on the top it has some wood chews connected to the top which is really really cool oh my god i just <laughs> 
I didn't even realize there was more uh, cupcakes. So we got another one of those. I lost count with how much we have. And then we also have this Enriched Life Timothy Surprise. So I believe it's just Timothy Hay wrapped in some cardboard paper tied together with this string here. So again, a nice enrichment toy for your piggy to actually work for a surprise, which is really awesome. And then, what is this? Uh, just a nice uh, coupon thing. We have got their... Oh! There we go. <laughs> Oxmo Essentials Pelleted Food for Adult Guinea Pigs. So just to let you guys know, this, in my opinion, is not the best one on the market, but it's one of the better brands, in the States at least. This actually contains soy, which from pig to pig varies on the effects of it. Some pigs are more prone to bladder stones, which soy can cause. So they do make pellets without soy. So that way you kind of just overall avoid it at all costs. There is still a chance that your pig can, you know, get them from other stuff. But because I have so many pigs and because Oxbow doesn't offer their garden select in bigger bags. I opt for this big bag and then mix it with their smaller bags of soy free food. And then this is gonna be used in combination with this food right here. This is the garden select adult guinea pig food. Only difference between this one and this one is that this one doesn't have soy in it. So it's considered to be the more healthy one. And with things being more healthier, it's more expensive. Now this only comes, the biggest bag is an eight pound bag. So if I was to have my pigs on this 100%, it would cost me so much money if I didn't buy this one. So what I like to do is actually put this inside of this and then mix the small pet select soy free one inside of this as well so they've got three pellets to choose from so more variety more enrichment i'll be showing you guys that process when it comes time to mix my pellets because i'm running really really low i actually have basically nothing left so this couldn't have came at a more perfect time god i have like no room to like move in this <laughs> space that i'm in right now I'm just gonna put that down right there so you guys can see me and then we have actually have never seen these in my life. Uh, these are the Oxbow Enriched Life Willow Play Cube. They actually have a Timothy tunnel or what once was a tunnel. Now it's just like little bits and pieces of this. So I know they really enjoy this material. Forget how much these were, but I definitely know that they will have a fun time with this. Only thing to keep in mind with these guys is that if you do have smaller pigs, please make sure that if they do end up chewing kind of a side to this and have a huge hole that they don't get their head stuck in it. If that is the case, I probably would just throw bits and pieces of this inside the cage. That way you avoid any troubles of your pig's head getting stuck. But again, when it comes to having pigs and giving them new toys and new items, always monitor them to make sure they're completely safe using them. And then two more things in this big box. So I actually have seen a couple people have this before, and this is the Oxbow Enriched Life. I feel like this whole video is sponsored by Oxbow. Honestly, I wish. If Oxbow's watching right now, if you want to sponsor me and hook up my pigs, hit me up. I would absolutely love that. But this is the Hay House. So this is actually a Heidi House plus Hay Rack. Now, I am not a huge advocate for Hay Racks. Um, I believe in litter box. Boxes, I believe in easy access to hay, something that needs to be provided 24 seven to your pigs. Now these do look like they have semi big slits in them. So it shouldn't be that difficult. And they also don't look like a weird size where they could get their head stuck. So I'm gonna give it a look and see how it'll work for me. I don't think I'll fill it with hay. I think I'll just throw it in their cage as a hidey house. But again, I will check out these slots to make sure they are safe just in case I end up using it. So yeah, really excited about this. I know this was a little bit more pricey, but I've seen so many people with this and I was really excited to get one. And then lastly, from our Chewy box, I got this idea from Saskia from the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. This is called Manuka Honey. This is really good for wounds. So if your pig ever gets a scratch from another pig, honestly gets an infection, like weird, weird fungus. This is a really great ointment to put on. I'll just kind of read the details on the front of the box. Hi, Wynn trying to pick him up but he won't let me. This is an antimicrobial ointment and it says proven to stop 99.9% .9 of bacteria immediately, start healing faster and safe for all animals. Heals rapidly, provides long lasting protection and moisturizes with a formula that's tough on bacteria and gentle on skin. Effective on hot spots, cuts, abrasion, sores, rashes and birds, burns burns <laughs> for small dogs and animals. So yeah, it's just an overall great thing to have, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of bondings. And with our bonding coming up with Vision and the girls, I definitely wanna have something like this on hand, you know, in conjunction with my CBD, Neosporin, and all that kind of other stuff. So this is a really great investment. This was about $20, but I think it's definitely great to have as part of your medical kit. I honestly wanna keep adding products to my medical kit because anything can arise when having this many animals, especially ones that are in groups, because when one's sick, another one can. When one fights one, one can get hurt. So having stuff like this on hand is really, really great. So again, adding this to the medical kit, hopefully I don't have to use it, but obviously if the case arises, I have it on hand. We will jump into my massive Joann's package right here. I ordered so much fleece, you guys. Uh, some of this stuff is from in person that I got. And then some of this is from joannes.com on their website. So I just wanted to give you guys kind of a rundown of all the prints that I got, all the fleece that I got, because I'm actually going to be doing a video where I'm going to be making all kinds of liners 
this for my pigs and pee pads. I actually got this print idea from Autumn. She showed it off when we were on live together. It's this really cool like natural tree bark pattern. This is like right up the alley of the colors that I love for the pig room. You guys don't know, I love tan. It just complements pigs so nicely, especially my ones who are on the more brown and white side and cream side. So this is gonna look really, really nice with like Jojo pens, like he'll match this perfectly. So I believe I got like six yards of this. I got a lot of it. So I can definitely make a few liners from this one. Just gonna move it into our chewy box right there. And this I actually ended up already using for some items for my shop that I've been making and actually sent out to some of my friends. I love cow patterns. I honestly, there's just something about it that's just so pleasing to see. I think it's a really interesting pattern, even just on an animal. I've always loved it. And I also really want to do a farm cage theme. So I think this will look really nice. This is actually not anti pale fleece or blizzard fleece. This is like a plush fleece mink material. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's definitely not fleece. It wouldn't wick the best, I believe, as a liner or pee pad. So for that case, I'm only going to be using it for like Heidi items and stuff like that. And then we have something I've been eyeing for literally months. I think this released in December of last year. This really nice cable knit pattern right here, which is a super, super pretty green, very foresty green. I believe I have, yep. I just want to show you guys basically the same pattern but different color this really nice yellow so these are going to complement the cages really really nicely when it comes to patterns i don't like things too bold and too artistic too cartoony. I like things to be kind of contemporary, modern, but also colorful, but not too colorful, if you know what I mean. So I think these are going to look really, really nice with each other. And then this is probably my ultimate favorite one. This is a pattern I have in a flannel cozy fabric for my Heidi houses, but I thought I would get the matching anti-pill fleece. So it's this really pretty greenhouse fleece with a bunch of flowers, rabbits, cats. I just already said flowers. <laughs> I was about to say flowers again. It's just a really perfect pattern for spring and I'm really excited for it. Now it is, you know, for the most part white, so it can get dirty pretty quickly. But obviously if you're keeping up on spot cleans, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but I'm really excited to make this into a liner and I'm probably gonna pair it with like either a purple, a pink, or maybe even a green on the opposite side, but I'm obsessed with this. Perfect segue in, maybe this will even look good. Kind of to tie in the green from the trees right there. I got so much to get through. And then we've got another that I have in a flannel fabric for my bunny squish tunnels. This is a really nice, pretty one with not sure what flowers you would call this, but it's got black flowers with some pink accents in it, which is really, really nice. That way I could actually pair up pink on the opposite side, but I believe I got four or five yards of this one. And then we've got our more boy colors, which are like navies, plaids, all kinds of things like that, just because I love to just give my boys, um, you know, more masculine colors. So I have this really nice gray and blue plaid. Also have another plaid, shocker and also another one after this of this really nice one kind of reminds me of fall a little bit so we've got the orange and red accents throughout with the gray and navy and then we have our gray plaid right here which is actually a blizzard fleece i don't usually opt for blizzard just because i find it to be a little bit more rough like anti-pill tends to be a little bit more softer but i did really like this pattern i actually already have it in one of my liners and i really think it's a nice neutral pattern so i decided to get more of this i believe i got four yards of this one and then last but not least we have our really pretty shade of blue this is like the most gorgeous blue that i've ever seen it's like almost a combination between blue gray and purple i don't know there's something about it that's really nice even though i do for the most part liners as patterns i do like a good solid so i'll definitely make this into a liner and a nice solid liner that way I can actually combine it with more like pattern pee pads. And I think that'll look really, really good. And again, perfect shade for spring. So I'm really excited about that. And then lastly, in this haul, you guys, I just wanted to show off a package that I got from a company. This is called Eaton Pet and Pasture. They reached out to me and said they wanted to send me a box of their hay. I've actually seen a few of my friends get this from the company and I was really excited when they reached out to me. So this is their Western and orchard grass mix for guinea pigs and small rabbits, or, you know, obviously any other animals that eat hay. So I'm really excited to try this out. I'm not gonna open up right now because I kind of wanna be surprised when I open it up to actually feed to my pigs a little later. And I'm gonna do that with you guys, obviously to show you guys how that goes down, but I'm really excited for this. I honestly didn't expect the box to be this big. I thought it was gonna be pretty small. So I was shocked when it arrived to my doorstep. So thank you guys so much for sending this to me. I really do appreciate it. I know my pigs are going to enjoy it. And I actually recently just bought a bale, which is a little bit more crunchy, which I know my pigs do enjoy. Also better overall for their teeth to be grinding them down. So I'll definitely be trying this out for you guys on camera. So with all of that being done and me having this huge mess around me, we have finally got through our unboxing of our haul. I'm really excited to actually try these items out with my pigs and see how they take to them and how they like them. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of organize everything, put away the boxes, put them in the recycling, get everything looking a lot neater because I actually ended up deep cleaning the pig room yesterday. So now having it look a mess right now is kind of making me a little bit 
stress. Alrighty guys, so what I'm gonna do to finish off this video with you guys is test out, look at him right now. <laughs> Winston, do you want some pellets? Do you want one, bud? Oh, yum. Is that yummy? <laughs> you like the pellets? You're always hungry, I know. What I'm gonna do is basically fill up this entire thing and show you guys my process with mixing all the pellets together and then probably give some of the pigs some toys, not everything because again, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna be saving a lot of the stuff for when I bond vision with the girls. That way there's a lot of fresh stuff in the cage because my girls have had some of their wooden items for quite some time now and I just don't want it to smell highly of the girls when I do put them inside the cage if it goes well. So yeah, a lot of the stuff's gonna be saved for that um, but I'll obviously make a whole video in itself with showing off these new products. So let me go ahead and grab all the stuff that we're gonna need for this. So I have my Oxbow Garden Select pellets right here. Again, this is the soy free version. Then we have our Oxbow Essentials brand as well. And then we also have our Small Pet Select non-GMO and soy free ones. This honestly guys, in my opinion, if I could feed all my pigs this specific one, like for all them 100%, I would definitely do it, but it's super expensive. So this is just a nice way to kind of cut down on cost for me. I am buying three types of pellets, but it does last me a lot longer. And then also I'm giving them a variety of like less healthy ones plus healthier ones. This is not like unhealthy by any means. It just has soy in it, which again, varies from pig to pig how they're affected by it. But luckily I've had no issues with my piggies. Do you want another one? Here, Winston, here, what's this? Nope, all right, I guess not. So let me go ahead and refill these. So because these pellets are like old and I don't want to have them on the bottom when I put the new food on top, I'm just gonna put them in a bag and then put it on top after I'm done. Not the usual way I'll do it. I usually like put it into a container, but because I don't have one, we just gotta do this. And I also hate that dust, so I'm gonna keep that in there. That'll stay in there for the time being. Definitely not trash and Winston's very curious about it. <laughs> Hi, bud. You just saying hi? Guys, he's like literally the most friendliest pig ever. Doesn't care what you do to him. He loves his little massages, as you can tell. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open this up. This is the Oxbow Essentials. I like to basically make this the base of my pellets. So I have, I would like to say about 50% this, 25% this, and then 25% of the Small Pet Select one. So let me go ahead and fill this without spilling it. And we'll do just about that much. And then we'll get our Small Pet Select. This is again, the soy free and non GMO one. Love this one. It's about $30, $35. So it is quite expensive for a 10 pound bag. But again, I really do like this. Put about 25% into here. Perfect. And then just to show you guys the difference between Small Pet Select and then Oxbow Essentials, this is the difference. So super small little nuggets and this one's super long. And honestly, when it comes time to like feed my pigs their pellets in the morning, I notice that they go after these ones a lot more. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our Garden Select. And then I'll show you guys what these look like. So these are like more chunkier chubby pellets compared to Small Pet Select, which is this one right here. And then the Oxbow Essential, which is right here. So again, Oxbow Essentials, little one, big one is a small pet select, and then this one is the garden select. So I'm just gonna go ahead and again, put about 25%, leaving some room for the old ones. All right, and that should be plenty. And then we're just gonna get down and dirty and use our hands to mix it all. That's why it's always really important to make sure that you, um, you leave some space on the top so you can actually mix this good and not have any of the pellets slip out. So I'll just do this for a couple mixes just until I feel like everything is nicely mixed inside of it. And they're all gonna get a good variety of each pellet. Working nine to five. Oh, what a way to make a living. And sometimes I'll have to like reach down there and make sure everything gets really nicely mixed. And if I notice that I can't get all the way to the bottom, then I'll just, you know, feed what I can from like a couple inches down, then I'll just remix it with my hands again once it gets a little bit more empty. All right, with all that being mixed and my hands super dirty, we're just gonna throw in the old pellets again, making sure we don't spill any of it. Alrighty, and then we'll just give it another light mix just to make sure everything is in there. So we'll just place that right inside of here and then we are good to go. 
All right, so next segment of the video is we're gonna actually be replacing our filter for our air purifier. So I've actually had this since I got my first two pigs, Teddy and Kyle. I think it was about a year and a half ago, maybe almost two years. It's been quite a long time, but I obviously you know, have bought replacements from that time. But this is supposed to be replaced about every six months just because it does get very dirty and you wanna make sure that it doesn't get, you know, jammed or anything like that and actually still continues to work. Now I did mention to you guys before, I did actually clean this out like yesterday. So it's looking a little gray. So I'll just show you guys and compare it to a new one. Again, these aren't actually the Lavoit brand. This is kind of just a dupe, but it works exactly the same. So this is what I had before. <laughs> this is what it was supposed to look like. And then this is what it looks like when it's super well used. So as you can see, it sucks in so much stuff from the air, just debris and dust, all kinds of things that comes with having piggies. So I'm gonna put this in here. I'm noticing it's a little bit smaller than this one, just by like a half an inch or so. So hopefully this is good. So I don't, I don't believe I have to put this any certain way. So I'm just gonna stick it in here like so. It's like a little tiny, but I think it should work. Locker into place. All right, so let's see if this works. I mean, I guess there's not really any way to tell if it works or not. So it seems like it's working, you guys. Um, I'm gonna just gonna keep it on low and I'll, I'll obviously give you guys an update with how it's performing in the next couple days and weeks because I will definitely notice it getting a lot more dirty. Alrighty, now it is time to open our Eaton Pet and Pasture Hay, which I'm super excited for. Again, this was actually sent to me for free by the company. So thank you guys again so much. Really excited to actually crack into this and give it to the pigs. Again, I forgot my... Uh, knife so we're gonna have to use my fingers but i think i should be able to do this and again this is their timothy and orchard grass mix so right off the bat a really great telltale sign of good hay is obviously that it's nice and green obviously there's some little brown bits which to some people they would complain about but to me you know hay is natural you know, it comes from outside. So you're gonna find pieces that are, you know, not the most perfect, but that is to be expected. Um, smell test. Smells good, not too sweet, super earthy, and really nice, soft, but also at the same time, like crunchy pieces, which again are very important because you wanna have hay that can actually grind down the teeth. Because if you guys don't know, you know, piggies' teeth nonstop grow. So having this hay on hand at 24 seven allows them to not overgrow. And then I'm also noticing throughout the hay, they also have these really tasty bits, which the pigs love of the heads of hay. I think we should go ahead and actually give it to the herd. I think those are our best candidates to see if they wanna try this out, kind of break it up a little bit so it's easier to get to for them. So I I am noticing it is a little dusty just because it has um, little bits and pieces in it. So this is when your air purifier comes into in hand because it would just suck it right up. But um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just keeping it off. But right after, I'm definitely gonna turn it on, but I'm noticing that it's a little bit dusty. So let's go ahead and give it to them. Again, I'm just gonna shake it out just to make sure everything's out and we'll just see how they like it. All right, so as you can see, Eris and Teddy are already inside of the litter boxes. So I'm just gonna put some of this hay right there and then put some of this hay right there and we'll see how the pigs like it. Right off the bat, they're super curious. They're like, what is this new hay? So I'm gonna see if they actually start eating it. You can already see Lennon. <laughs> She's got a whole litter box on her side and she wants to eat from theirs. Oh, Kyle's going in. So they're munching down. I think Caroline's going for one of the heads, which is her favorite part. Do you like it, Caroline? Yes. <laughs> You like the new hay, Missy? So it definitely seems like the piggies are enjoying it. As you can see, they're munching down. They love their hay. I'm glad that this hay has like small bits and also crunchy bits because before when I was buying my hay from the farm, it only mainly had the soft bits. And I actually ended up purchasing a new bale yesterday, which had the crunchy bits. So it's super good for their teeth. So I definitely recommend this to you guys. And again, thank you to Eaton Pet and Pasture for sending me it. I really do appreciate Alrighty, it. Alrighty guys. So that is it for me on today's video. Wanted to be cute and actually hold Winston, but I don't think it's gonna be something that I can do, especially because the girls are right there. But as you can see, the piggies are enjoying their hay. They're all munching down. Even Lennon and Willow on the other side are having a blast, even though it's not their litter box. But nonetheless, they're having a great time with something new in their cage. I'll probably actually end up filming a separate video with introducing the new toys, just because, again, I didn't wanna make this super long. It was a big haul, so I just wanted to not make this a super long video for you guys, but definitely expect to see another video coming soon with all their new products and introducing it to them and their reaction. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. As always, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every single week. And me and my 16 pigs will see you guys next time. Oh, and as always, I hope you and your piggies are happy, safe, and healthy. Bye, guys.